this is Skybet Football League Division 2 probably in the region of 5,000 plus fans here tonight I would think but let's hope the county can keep up this good run and keep it going as we are now underway and Constable thought he was fouled but it's not given by the linesman and the, uh, there is a foul for on Archer and the referee is going to uh, come across and have a word with the Oxford United player and there is going to be the first booking already and it's Ryan Williams who is in the referee's notebook after 2 minutes 20 seconds for a late challenge on Oshir and he is going to be booked and he's booked after 2 minutes is Ryan Williams so he's going to have to be careful to main for the next 88 and uh, Kubo keeps his eye on that but it's Oxford United have got it and a free kick for a foul there just outside the box on Constable and there's danger here from County this is about 22 yards out it's going to be Hunt then with a free kick four and a half minutes gone in fact he leaves it and it is going to be left for Danny Rose after all Rose chips it into the box and it hits two players comes back out and it's gone wide of goal the Oxford fans thought it was in they all stood but they have uh, toe poked it wide of goal so um, a letter off there for Newport County but you can see already that um, the strikers of um, Kitson and Constable and James Constable there a mistake between two county players the two centre backs left Constable clear on goal the easiest chance of the lot and he's fluffed it and his weak weak shot is easily taken by pitching plenty of bodies in near post there is Minshaw Crow is in the centre of the goal mouth Washington has peeled away Yakubu is forward for this in comes the throw and he's looking for Minshaw it evades everyone and uh, the keeper gets it um, Yakubu went for it he jumped fairly for that I don't see what Ryan Clark is uh, grousing about Yakubu went for the ball and he went for it fairly he was quite entitled to go for that ball and the referee's got any common sense he should just uh, have a quiet word and let that be plays it back finds Osha larger takes a touch plays it forward but that's only as far as Newey he has all the time in the world but he heads it up into the air Crow heads it gets it to Washington who hasn't seen a lot of it but he holds it up well there the youngster finds Minshall does well there Washington now it's laid wide and now it's with Jackson Jackson on that far side does well gets through one player plays it inside oh it's so nearly and uh, they gonna Clark is gonna get it there Crow got met it at the far post but nearly the ball nearly fell for Christian Jolly and County nearly took the lead there but it's played to Jackson now it's on the far side now they're going forward this is promising by County can they open them up ball is played through there but Mullin stands firm gets the ball to the far side but uh, again County have got the ball they've won it back it's with Minshall Minshaw, he's got Chapman to the far side. Ball is played through. Jackson's getting through them. It's played into Crow. Oh, and it's Chapman. It's high and it's over the bar. It's in the car park. And in fact, it lands between two cars and it drifts the ball away into the background. It's just hit a white minivan. And Jolly tries to tackle well, but the home side have come away with it. And it's a great looking ball played to Williams, who's in Oakerson's ocean for space. And uh, he gets through there, but. Uh, it's going to be a free kick for a foul by Osha Larger, who's going into the referee's notebook. He was slightly late on Williams, and there will be a booking for the Newport County player after 31 minutes. It's a booking for Adage Osha Larger. He's going to take this right footed for Oxford United. Pidgeley's on his toes, raises both arms. In comes the free kick. It has to be dealt with. It goes just wide of goal, and it's gone for a goal kick. All it wanted was a touch, Pitchley was beaten there and with 36 minutes in it's goalless and it's Danny Rose with the left footed in swinging corner to my right hand side. It's Rose to take it for Oxford United, leaders of Skybet League 2 and it goes, it's, oh, it's headed over the bar and that was a beautiful corner from Rose, my goodness me and from a few yards out Mullins has headed it over the bar, finds Chapman, Chapman plays the ball over the top to the running Christian Jolly takes it up beautifully off his right foot takes it on cuts inside to one player two turns neatly is fouled free kick in a center yes it was a free kick the player complains knew but he fouled Christian Jolly and uh, Minshall is complaining to the uh, to the referee that he's being manhandled in there referees aren't very brave at these things uh, situations this Wilmot takes a deflection corner kick 
So County uh, finishing strongly as a minute to go to the interval. Minshall puts his left arm in the air. He's wanting this ball. In comes the corner kick. It goes long to the far side. Keeper comes and the keeper does well and he punches it out. And there is a free kick for a foul on the far side by Adam Chapman. On uh, Josh Ruffles, the 20-year-old, making his full uh, Football League debut tonight. Looks as though it's going to be goalless at the infall as Newey throws the ball forward. There is the referee's whistle at half-time and it is nil-nil. It's back to you in the studio, Chris. I'll be back with you for the second half. Just been speaking to Rob Phillips of BBC Wales, who has pointed out to me quite rightly it's been eight hours and six minutes since County last conceded a goal. Let's hope we got that's added to after another 45 minutes here. And Wilmot turns and plays it forward, but it's won by Hunt. Forward it goes to Osher Larger there, though, and uh, Chapman fouls, and that's a free kick to Oxford United, halfway inside the Newport County half. Hunt with the free kick, two minutes into the second half, in comes the free kick, it's headed to the far side, but it's taken under his crossbar easily by Pidgeley. Ball is played forward, Osher Larger does well, gets it forward. Minchel picks up the loose ball, is surely fouled, yes he is. Two Oxford players, one being uh, Josh Ruffell says he didn't think it was uh, a free kick, but it was. And Dave Kitson helps Lee Minchel to his feet. Minchel peels away, free kick just about a foot or so inside. In fact, Chapman decides that he plays the ball further forward. Referee is now telling Osher Larger to take the ball back, back and back. And we end up with the ball being one foot inside the Oxford United half. Where it should have been taken on first of all. Osher Larger with the free kick then. On this side of the uh, pitch. Takes it, right-footed it goes, it's a good one this one, this is going to cause a problem as Minchel heads it, just wide of goal and it's gone for a goal kick and that header could have caused some problems. Rose plays a good ball into Hall going forward, he lays it wide to Newey, Newey tracked by Washington, gets it through, broken up beautifully by Jackson there, Jackson goes forward, elects to run at them and then is out and is fouled by Danny Rose. Right inside the touchline, and Danny Rose is going to be talked to by the referee. And Danny Rose is going to be booked. And Rose is going to be the third player to be booked. Oshel Archer after 31 minutes. Ryan Williams after two minutes. Danny Rose after 54. Jackson gets it from Oshel Archer. Now the ball is played forward, but Mullins wins it in the air. And Chapman goes forward, and they say that Chapman fouls Danny Rose. And that will be a free kick. And uh, Chapman being told by the referee, he went for the ball fairly, but the referee is having a word with Chapman, a little bit, uh, I don't know, the referee is a little bit petty in my opinion tonight. Minshall doesn't get there, Minshall, and uh, the home side come away with it in the shape of Danny Rose again. Danny Rose is tackle, and there is a foul on Danny Rose, and there's going to be a booking here. Danny Crow and uh, all of a sudden these bookings are starting to mount up again for silly niggly little fouls Tim Lane. Newey one touch played inside to Rose it's in Newport County territory he plays the ball square finds Hall Hall plays it through to Williams Williams turning neatly in midfield he's running at County they're letting him run oh and there's a foul and that will be a booking for Wally and they're going to try and get him sent off he was high but he went for the ball there will be a booking but I tell you what, he may be lucky, he may be lucky, he was high with that, Williams has gone down and he's going to get a yellow card, I hope it's only a yellow because I know it was a rash challenge, he was very high with it, Rose is complaining to the referee, the referee is going to uh, have a word with Wally, let's see what the card is. And uh, Wally went for the ball, he's saying nothing. The referee, Mr Sheldrake, is uh, having a long, hard look. And it's a yellow card, I'm glad to name, because I tell you what, I thought he was going to end up with a red. Personally, it's in a central position. This is Danny Rose territory, there's no doubt about that. Will it be Hunt? Will it be Rose? It's Hunt, he shoots, and it goes just wide of goal. 
And can't he have escaped yet again there? But these bookings are adding up. There's no question about that. They've had Crow book, they've had Wally book, they've had Osher Larger book. Wally stays back as does Osher Larger as the ball is thrown into the near post. Ball is headed out and that's a corner kick for Newport County. Tim. Yeah, just seeing that uh, Yakubu seems to be struggling a bit now. He seems to be limping. I'm not sure if he's uh, picked up a knock. Uh, but um, he's holding on in, in true captain style. Um, as a handy back as Wilmot takes the from the right. Corner kick comes over. Keeper comes, keeper takes it. Two handed and takes it very easily. And it could be that Tom Naylor will be bought on any moment now. He's been told to get his tracksuit off, I think. And it's going to be Hunt with a corner kick. It's a good one, but the keeper takes it and does well, Pitchley. Takes it two handed, takes it neatly. And the ball is played through by Wilmot, who's been County's best player tonight takes the ball and plays a good looking pass over the top where he's going to find Connor Washington great pass that was anyways Washington the edge of the area takes it inside he takes it one side then the other shoots and it's come off two defenders and it's gone for a corner kick in fact it was Barker I'm be told I thought it was Washington it was Barker well spotted there And Oshel Archer gets it back to his goalkeeper and Pidgeley takes his time and Pidgeley's going to kick it right footed. Forward it goes and he finds Barker and Barker's going forward. This looks menacing. Barker shoots though when he could have elected to play it to Jolly on the far side who was free. He had time to look and he should have found him. As Tim Lane rightly says, the two centre-backs very impressive for County. As the ball is played over the top and two of them, somebody's got to deal with it and Jackson must deal with it and he is fouled. Again by O'Dowda, and he's surely probably going to be booked by the referee. I would think he's been, no, he's probably, yes, he is. And there is the foul by, for O'Dowda for persistent fouling in the 80th minute. So O'Dowda booked as well. Seven minutes left as the ball is played deep into county territory, but Wally wins it, finds Barker. Barker can't get there. Rose does. Gets it again to Newey. Picked up by Rose. Rose holds on. A good player, Rose is. Plays a good ball out to his near side. He is fouled by Chapman. Chapman and Danny Rose. Danny Rose not happy with Chapman. And Chapman's going to be booked, is he? Yes, he is. Now the booking. This is mounting up. My goodness me. So that's Chapman booked. Chipped into county penalty area it goes, but the ball is headed out and Jolly can't get there, they can get the ball clear and Chapman launches it forward, Washington surely can he get in front of the defender, he takes it on, he holds on to it, he does well and he lays it back to Jolly, Jolly does, does the right thing, does well, takes it inside Jolly, shoots, oh he hits the bar and it's gone for a goal kick and Jolly skimmed the top of the crossbar there. After wonderful work from Connor Washington, County's best chance, Tim Lane. Six inches lower and County would have been ahead. Will there be drama here? It's Adam Chapman with the throw in. Throws the ball deep into the area. Ball is headed out. Wilmot goes for it, but it's Naylor. Naylor plays the ball to Chapman. Chapman chips the ball to this near side. Washington shoots, takes the deflection. It's gone for a corner kick to County. As the announcer announces the attempts, 5,042, it's Robbie Wilmot who's going to take the corner kick right-footed. In it goes, the keeper comes and the keeper takes it easily. Read that one well, Dick Clark. But he's been so prominent in these last 10 minutes and County have the corner kick to my right-hand side. It's going to be Robbie Wilmot to take it. Wilmot with the corner kick. He misses everyone, the ball is headed over by Naylor. As Jackson will take this throw in for Newport County, he throws it deep into the area. Ball is headed to the far side and it drops over the crossbar there. And I think it was Naylor. And uh, the referee surely is going to blow his whistle. There he does. And it's a point for County. It's finished goalless. It's a second consecutive nil-nil draw for Newport County. It's a valuable point at the Kassam Stadium. It has finished nil-nil. I will be back with you on Sunday. Please join me for iRadio, Newport City Radio. It's a one o'clock kickoff. It's Newport County AFC against Chesterfield. It's a very good night from Tim Lane and myself at the Castle Stadium.